Right, welcome back. Uh, let's look at an example how to find the area. If you look at question 3 in your notes, okay, find the area bounded by this curve fx. Okay, fx for x minus x squared and the x-axis. Okay, your function, write it down, this. Uh, for x minus x squared. Okay, you factorize this. Okay, this is fx. Okay, let it be equals to 0 to get what we call the x-intercept. So you have two values, which is x equals to 0, and x equals to 4. Okay, it's very important for you to sketch. Okay, sketching with a sketch and a diagram, you have an idea how to find the area. So if you recall this function, this is a quadratic function, fx minus x squared, since the coefficient of x squared is negative. So you expect the curve to have a maximum point. Okay, we'll, we'll do a rough sketch of this okay so the y uh, sorry the x-intercepts is 0 and 4 and you are interested in finding this area okay so let me label the axis okay okay to find this area you can use the integration formula okay a is given by your integrate you see the lower limit 0 to 4 and your function is this okay now you integrate your a right as you integrate 4x you get 2x squared and the integrate x cube will be x cubed over 3 okay so this is a definite integral okay and then you substitute the values show the substitution it's very important for you to show the substitution okay you get minus 3 for q minus 3 and then this is just going to be 0 okay as you simplify this right the value will be 32 over 3 and do not forget to add your unit squared okay so the area in the first uh, quadrant bounded by the function fx and the x-axis so as i as you go through this example as you can see okay this two values the upper and the lower limit is technically the x-intercept okay and then you have to factorize and you have to find it and then sketch is very important okay you have a rough sketch and this is the area okay right thank you